we're here with the VWB016 bass guitar kit from Viveworks Guitars. And I want to walk through what comes in the box, what can you, you can expect to receive when you order one of these kits. Uh, very similar to our other bass guitar kits and our other uh, guitar kits. So we'll just walk through what you get in the body. So first, the body, we have an offset style body, similar to what you might find on like a jazz bass or a Jaguar or Mustang guitar. It is an alder body. Everything comes pre-routed um, and holes drilled for the wiring and for the hardware that you will attach. Uh, one note on a lot of solid body guitars and bass guitars, this can be concerning the first time you see this. It looks like a big gouge, like, um, something happened in shipping or at the factory or somebody dropped a drill on it. But that is intentional. What that is, is an access wire for your bit bridge ground wire. And the other end of that hole comes out in here in the control cavity. So it's just a really steep angle that they drill that hole, which is why it looks concerning. It's how it's supposed to be. The bridge will cover that up, no worries. You'll have your bridge ground to keep a nice quiet guitar. Everything will work out great on that. This is a PJ style guitar. So we have P bass style pickups in the neck position and a jazz bass style pickup in the bridge position. The neck, standard bass style, unshaped paddle um, on the headstock. So you can shape this however you want. Um, a lot of people ask if we have templates for the major brands. We do not. Uh, the reason is that would infringe on their trademarks. However, those are available out on the web, you can search for them and you're welcome to cut your guitar however you want. We just, as a, as a vendor, we can't sell something that's somebody else's intellectual property, which is why we don't have those. Um, it's pre-fretted, truss rod, pre-installed, dual action truss rod to, to change the, the curve in any direction you want. This neck does not have binding, but does have fret markers in the normal spots. Uh, one note I'll make, you, if you've watched a few of these videos, you've heard me repeat this a few times. This one's marked 252, which is also marked on the body. Each body and neck are matched at the factory for a good snug fit with very little gaps. Um, and you can see on the sides, we don't really have any gap at all. There's a little gap here at the front but that's normal and that will get um, covered up by the pick guard. So these are matched right from the factory to make sure there's no huge gaps, to make sure the neck fits snugly, but not too tight. Um, all of that happens. Uh, and then it's packaged as a set all the way through the same 252s marked on the bags for these two parts, just to make sure that the, the right match set comes all the way to your door. That eliminates some of the guesswork, eliminates some of the fine tuning um, rather than, you know, depending on if you just got a bunch of loose parts and you were trying to put your guitar together, you'd have a few more challenges than that. It's a normal way to go. It's fine. Uh, but this takes some of that guesswork out. Pick guard is included. This is a black uh, three ply, black, white, black pick guard. Uh, one thing you'll notice while we do have a lot of the pilot holes drilled for the different hardware, including even the, the pickups, we do not drill pilot holes for the pick guard. And this is on purpose. The reason is some people want a different color pick guard uh, that we don't, we don't offer. Some people want a different material. They might make their own out of wood or acrylic or you know, whatever it might be. So matching these holes would be tricky. So what we do is we, we don't drill those on purpose. That way you can use any pick guard you want on here without having to worry about covering holes, filling holes, whatever it might be. If you decide to use the stock pick guard or any pick guard that you use, uh, we recommend with a small drill bit going around and, and drilling these um, pilot holes. There's eight holes, uh, only takes another second and you'll be good to go. But that way we, we have, we sell the guitar kit that way on purpose to give people more options in their build. As we look at the rest of the hardware, Of our output cable, Allen key for the truss rod adjustment, as well as a small Allen key for the bridge adjustment. We have our pickups, PB style, JB style. PB does 
The magnets are sticking together. There we go. We have our four tuners. A standard style uh, bridge. Strings. These aren't the world's best strings, but they're good for setup. You know, sometimes as you're adjusting the truss rod, as you're adjusting the action, you're loosening, tightening, loosening, tightening. Um, it's a shame to spend money on good strings and then and then put all that stress on them. So these are great for setup, and then you can switch over to the strings of your choice. Back plate for the neck. This is a jazz bass style control panel. Ready to go to uh, one tone, two volumes. And the way these work, if you're not um, somebody that plays bass or plays guitar on these all the time, each pickup is wired independently to a volume and then a master tone. So you kind of have a blend uh, rather than a switch, um, like you might see on some guitars, the, the volume controls become the switch and you can turn things on and off um, by turning it all the way down or blend between the two pickups to get your tone dialed in. Bushings for the tuners, neck screws, other screws, springs and set screws for the pickups, and a string T for uh, the headstock to keep those strings in tension. One thing I'll note, this is our standard 34 inch scale uh, base, which is a standard scale length for most bases that you would find in the marketplace. We offer this exact same kit in a short scale, a 30 inch uh, scale version. So it comes in both varieties, 34 inch standard and a 30 inch short scale version. Um, everything else is the same in terms of the body, the specs, the hardware, everything else is the same other than that shortened scale length. I would consider this a beginner to immediate uh, level guitar kit. The neck will bolt right on. You do have to solder the pickups to the control panel and that ground wire to the bridge. Uh, so it's, it's a, a, a couple solder connections to make, but other than that, it should come together pretty easy. The alder body is, the alder is awesome to work with. Solid finishes, bursts, um, translucent finishes. I just did one of these in a gunstock oil, a true oil came out beautiful. Uh, so it's it's a very easy wood to work with and provides you with a lot of options for the finish that you want. These are, this is the VWB016. The short scale version is the VW01630 for the 30 inch scale. And they're both available from Vibeworks Guitars.